So Alex, you've got Rangers on Sunday. How are you looking forward to the game? It should be a, a really good uh, test for us. You know, uh, Rangers are um, a free-flowing team and um, we're obviously really disappointed to lose a late goal against them at Ibrook. So we're hoping we can get something out of the game this weekend. It's, uh, there'll be a really good crowd there and uh, we want to send the fans away with something to cheer about throughout the summer. How important do you think it is to maybe try and get a bit of optimism before you, you leave for the summer? No, listen, we obviously want to get a positive result. I think that's important. Um, I think one of the key things for us, and I said this last week, I actually done a little bit on social media, which I don't normally do. I, uh, I was thanking the fans against Morton. It was important for us uh, two weeks ago. And um, it was just a great atmosphere on the day. Uh, so you do want to send them away. And uh, I think one of the key things for us as a coaching staff, as a, as a team, as a club really, is that it's important that we can uh, bring a wee bit of success to the home form, which we've managed to do of late, and um, we want to finish in a high, really. Uh, but we're under no illusions, it's going to be a difficult game. So you mentioned it there, the, the difference it made having that, that atmosphere against Morton. How, how big a difference can that, that make to the players on the pitch? No, listen, it's just great, man. We've all played in the, you know stadiums when the fans are right behind you, and I think, I think if for us to go forward, we need to be united. Uh, uh, you know, 10 months without a win at home is not really... Get, it becomes difficult coming to watch home games, but, you know, thankfully we've managed to turn that around a little bit. You know, obviously we, we'll have to do a pretty much a whole rebuilding job in the summer in terms of players coming and going. And um, so that obviously that will take care of itself. But we really do want to finish in a high. You've, you've mentioned it there about having a bit of a real bit rebuilding job in the summer. Easy for me to say. <laughs> uh, no, I, was, I was actually more thinking about it as, uh, as a rebuilding job, yeah. How, how far along are you in terms of your plans for next season? Well, we're, we're, we're out, uh, I've got to be honest with you, it's relatively slow at the moment because players are, historically, I think they're better than what they are in terms of trying to get players in and, and uh, they're obviously waiting for better options and things. And, but within the space of four weeks, there's going to be a right big influx of S, SPFL players available as well. When players are going, managers are going to cut people loose in the next couple of weeks. So, you know, I think it's important that we don't panic. We try and attract the right player to the club. And um, just go about it kind of, kind of conscientiously about what we really need to do and what we need to, to take the club forward. So you mentioned there about it being important bringing the right player to the club. What yeah. to you do you think is the right player? Players that can get results first and foremost. You know, obviously they have to have the right mentality as well. Um, and sometimes that's difficult because you don't know a great deal about them. But you then you have to kind of speak to previous coaches, players that have played with and see what they bring. But hopefully this time next week we will have a bit of on maybe one guy who kind of ticks the boxes for us and um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about that one. Do you think that the, the club and the facilities that it has, it's not easy but you know you can attract players from maybe that are leaving Premiership clubs? Oh no, look, in terms of the infrastructure that was one of the things that kind of brought me back as well, you know, I've, I've, I'd, I'd visited uh, the stadium uh, throughout the early part of this season. I've been at reserve games, I've been at the Morton game, the 1-1 game at home. So I'd been about the place and I'd seen the infrastructure. It's a, it's a terrific setting. And then obviously I hadn't seen the, the training facilities, but I think within the space of except, an hour I was accepting the job, I was down at the training ground because we're obviously preparing for the Alloa game the following day. So you get a wee flavour for what that's about. And there's not many, there's not many um, uh, facilities like that in Scotland, who the club own, which is great. Um, so it's a good breeding ground, you know, we're obviously trying to encourage youth as well coming through. We've obviously brought young Kyle in, we've obviously got Nasey and Stephen, young Jordan. So we're hoping to just kind of continue to kind of blood young boys as well if they're good enough and show them a pathway through to the first team because I think that's important. Um, I think it's important for the first team to be working in tandem with the youths and, and show that kind of progression.